Hi, and welcome to another Bruja video. In this video, we will be looking at the Bruja Digital Power Box. The Digital Power Box is a reliable, precise, safe, portable, and flexible means of controlling 230 volt power in your brewing system. It is reliable because it is made with top quality parts and there are no Bluetooth or internet connectivity issues, no programming or display problems. You just plug it in and it is immediately ready to work every time. And when used with brewing software such as the Beersmith program, you are able to replicate your favorite brews time after time after time. It is precise because there won't be any program crashes mid-brew and it allows you to know exactly how much power is going into your vessel. By turning this dial that is at the front of the box, the amount of power going to the heating element can be specified precisely. If just 50% of the output is needed, for example during mashing or distillation, or 2% during fermentation, the knob is turned to that precise percentage and you can be 100% confident that the heating element will be putting out the exact amount of needed power. It is safe and it is third party certified safety by one of the world's largest and most respected safety evaluation and testing companies. Let's look briefly at its design and functionality. It is housed in this rugged and lightweight aluminum body. It has rubber feet on the bottom, so it is non-marking and won't slide on a smooth countertop. And it also has two pivoting feet here at the front that can be used to elevate the box for ease of use. The main cable is designated SOOW, which is an industrial service cable that has 600 volt rating. This kind of cable is more expensive, but it has excellent resistance to oils, acids, chemicals, water, ozone, extreme temperatures, cuts, tears, abrasions, and sunlight. Basically any and everything it might encounter in your basement, garage, restaurant, or your brewery. It is also flame retardant, has an indoor and outdoor rating, and it is highly flexible so it is easy to move around. The high quality Hubble cord grips are here at the back are made of aluminum so they are attractive and durable. And the GFI 115 volt switch receptacles that are available in the North American model provide convenient power for small 115 volt appliances such as a pump. Inside the power box is a contactor. The contactor is like a gate that opens and closes to safely control the flow of 230 volt power into the power box. With 230 volt power, if you were to unplug it from a receptacle each time you needed to turn the power off, it would likely arc in the receptacle which could damage the receptacle or even start a fire. What determines whether the contactor or gate is opened or closed is a second smaller cord which provides a signal to open or close the contactor. When this cord has power, the power could come directly from a wall receptacle or via the ETC during mashing. It closes the contactor and lets 230 volt power through to the element. When this line doesn't have power, and therefore there is no signal, the contactor is open and the main power cannot get through to the element or into the box. You will have noticed that while the 115 volt receptacles have a GFI built into them, the main 230 volt line does not. It is recommended that brewers have a GFI installed prior to the power box as a GFI responds much quicker to electrical irregularities than a breaker or fuse will, ensuring that you are even better protected in the event of a short. The power box is designed to be portable, maximizing its convenience and utility. It is extremely easy to set up and take down, which is especially very attractive when space must be shared for other purposes. The power box is also designed to be flexible. Temperature control, for which uh, Bruja can be achieved and with Bruja parts that can be achieved through the ETC, it has been intentionally kept external to the main power control vice, which provides the brewer with the greatest amount of convenience, cost savings and utility. Most brew systems use a built-in PID or similar type temperature sensor that is tied to the main 230 volt control apparatus. But this is not always convenient, especially when using a multi-purpose area or when needing to control multiple brewing systems at the same time. For example, when one or two or more vessels, um, sorry, when one has two or more vessels and is brewing and fermenting at the same time. By keeping the temperature control external to the power box, the brewer is able to continue to maintain precise control of temperature regulation throughout fermentation without needing access to 230 volt power that might be being used elsewhere. 
The fermenter can be moved away from the main 230 volt power source and still have the temperature monitored and controlled by the ETC. Or in the situation where multiple fermenters are needed, only one power box is necessary for brewing, as is the case with the medium BIAC, and much less costly ETCs can be purchased to monitor the additional tanks. So that is a brief overview of the Bruja Digital Power Box. We have designed it with the brewer in mind to make it reliable, precise, safe, portable, and most of all, a pleasure to use. Thank you for watching.